So just want to draw your attention to health benefits of fenugreek. We want to discuss nutritional profile of fenugreek and what it can provide to your body in terms of essential minerals and vitamins. So for those who don't know, fenugreek is a herb commonly used as uh, both food and spice in many parts of the world and indeed is a gem when it comes to healthy choices. Fenugreek is believed to promote healthy blood sugar levels, weight loss, mental alertness and is also said to have antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. Many people including many from scientific community believe in its ability to control and treat high blood pressure. Fenugreek has been traditionally prescribed by Hikmat and Ayurvedic physicians to lactating mothers who have young children. Many claim that regular consumption of fenugreek helps in lowering the levels of low density lipoprotein commonly known as LDL or bad cholesterol. Peptic ulcers and inflamed conditions of stomach and bowels are successfully cured with fenugreek according to many. It absorbs all toxic materials and eliminates them from the body thereby healing and soothing the inflamed areas of the elementary canal. It is packed with nutrients in both leaf and seed forms, both dried and fresh leaves and also seeds are used in many mouth-watering dishes in many parts of the world. But today we'll only discuss uh, essential minerals and vitamins rather than going into the details of the specific and healthy compounds that it has. That is purely because I do not want this video to be very very long. So I have a few web pages open in my browser and the data that I have is from a very very reliable source. So if you type in nutritional value of any Greek, uh, Google will throw this page up in front of you. Okay. And if you click here, you'll be taken to this you'll be taken to this page, which is from United States Department of Agriculture, Agriculture Research Services, and it provides nutritional information of many foods that are uh, consumed around the world. And to me, it is the most reliable source of information on the net. So you can see that only, and this is about, this is about 100 grams of fenugreek seeds, okay? And you can only you can see that only 100 grams of fenugreek seeds have 770 milligram of potassium, 67 milligram of sodium, 25 grams of dietary fiber, high potassium and high magnesium content, and it also has a high magnesium content. Okay, so high potassium and high magnesium content is probably the reason behind its reputation as a natural remedy for high blood pressure and help with diabetes. Many people are low on magnesium. A very high content of dietary fiber is a logical reason for us to believe uh, in its reputation as a food that promotes healthy gut. In theory, it can be a very helpful choice for people who are looking for natural remedies to increase their potassium level. Although, uh, please note that it does not, this quantity cannot fulfill your 100% of dietary requirements of potassium. It can provide a maximum of 22% potassium, 100 grams of fenugreek seeds. For people who have high blood pressure, you first need to find out the root cause of high blood pressure as well, okay, just, just to make a note. If your blood pressure is high because of renal artery stenosis or coronary artery disease or obesity or because high intake of sugar or caffeine, which is very high in coffee and tea or coke, and there can be many other physiological reasons that can cause high blood pressure and if that is the case <coughs> sorry and if that is the case then your blood pressure is not going to go down just by eating potassium rich foods or limiting sodium intake that's what many people do although these uh, conditions uh, these things can help but you should go and see your doctor so in such cases looking for an answer on the internet can be distracting and dangerous also, people on potassium restricted diets, as in case of chronic renal failure, need to limit the use of many foods which are high in potassium. As you can see, only 100 grams of seeds, fenugreek seeds, are enough to provide are enough to fulfill 100% daily requirement of dietary fiber. But if you're consuming fenugreek regularly, then you're likely to have regular bowel movements and are likely to have better absorption of nutrients from 
food. But the thing that really attracts your attention or should attract your attention is this high content of iron. Fenugreek seeds can provide more than uh, nearly double the amount of iron that a person needs in a day. 186%. It has more iron than similar quantity of goat or chicken liver. So if I search for nutritional value of liver, you can see that similar quantity of uh, animal liver can provide 99% of your uh, dietary requirements of iron. And usually this is the food that is recommended by many doctors if you are low on iron. So fenugreek seeds can be an excellent choice to increase iron levels for vegetarians and vegans who do not consume meat. Although I can tell you the names of the, oh, well this is not the, the only food that has high uh, amount of iron. There are many foods that have more iron levels than this. Okay. However, you need to know two important things here. One is that too much iron is toxic for many organs, for liver and heart in particular. So we have another website here, which is from US Department of Health and Human Services. And it tells you about hemochromatosis, okay? And it is a disease in which too much iron builds up in your body, uh, which is known as iron overload. Uh, too much iron is toxic for your body. It can poison your organs and cause organ failure. In hemochromatosis, iron can build up uh, in most of your body organs, but especially in liver, heart, and pancreas. Too much iron in liver can cause enlarged liver, liver failure, liver cancer, or cirrhosis. Uh, too much iron in heart can cause irregular heartbeats, and called, uh, which is called arrhythmias. And too much iron in pancreas, in pancreas can lead to diabetes itself. Okay, so you need to be very, very careful what you eat, and you need to be, you need to eat healthy levels of any food or any mineral or anything that you eat. Okay. Now, at the same time, I just want to draw your attention to one more thing. The second thing uh, that I want to tell you is that. You need to know that in any food, high amounts of nutrients don't matter. What matter is their bioavailability. That is how much of a nutrient is absorbable or available to individual cells who need it. For example, majority of seeds and nut, nuts store phosphorus as phytic acid or phytate. So this is, uh, so this is another website. This is uh, American Journal, the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Okay, a very reliable source again. And it says iron and zinc are currently the trace minerals of great concern when considering nutritional value of vegetarian diets. With elimination of meat and increased intake of phytate containing legumes. So what is phytate? And whole uh, grains. The absorption of both iron and zinc is lower with vegetarian than the non-vegetarian diets. So what is phytate? So phytate is a majority of seeds and nuts store phosphorus as phytic acid or phytate. Phytic acid impairs the absorption of iron, zinc, and calcium and causes mineral deficiencies. Phytic acid has a tendency to bind to iron, magnesium, and calcium. And human body does not have necessary enzymes to break it down. And if you notice, fenugreek seeds also have some amount of phosphorus, 296 milligrams in 100 grams of uh, seeds which is not huge but i really don't know if it is in the form of phytic acid and probably it is because fenugreek seeds are uh, seeds of course and we are uh, what we have here is data of fenugreek seeds so what it means that even though it says that 100 grams of fenugreek seeds have 186 percent of your dietary requirements, uh, nearly double the amount of iron that you require in a day. It does not mean that all of that iron is biologically available to your body. It does not mean that all of it is going to be absorbed. It may be that the bioavailability of uh, iron, which only has 99% of iron, 100 grams of liver, is more, I'm not saying that it is, but it is possible because uh, liver, or meat products do not have phytic acid. So 
that is the thing that you need to understand with any food that you eat uh, other uh, important minerals and vitamins calcium is only 17 per well if you look at the quantity of the calcium in 100 grams of fenugreek seed it is actually more than uh, the amount of calcium that you can find in similar quantity of milk okay so if I type in value of milk you can see that quantity by weight okay 100 grams of milk can only provide you with 12% of your uh, daily calcium requirements okay however uh, if you take one cup which most people take more than that I think like a glass would be a bigger than the than a cup I would believe which is 244 grams you will certainly have more calcium as compared to fenugreek seeds other important things uh, that are available in in fenugreek seeds are magnesium 47 percent we have already discussed notice it has zero percent cholesterol zero cholesterol so it's a very healthy food for people who are trying to decrease their weight unlike uh, many claims it does not have vitamin a almost no vitamin a very little vitamin c and almost no vitamin d many websites i've, I've seen many websites claiming that it has a lot of vitamin A, D, and C or whatever well it does not okay thank you very much I'll probably come back uh, to discuss uh, the the compounds important nutrition uh, important compounds that uh, and unique compounds that it has but that will be, that will be another video thank you very much